Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. So let's get started. First thing, what are we going to learn? So let's look at a list of topics. First is what is Bresenham's line drawing algorithm? Then what are the prerequisites for Bresenham's line drawing algorithm? And then finally, we'll look at an example where we'll be constructing a line using Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. All right. So let's look at what is Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. Bresenham's line drawing algorithm is an accurate and efficient line drawing algorithm. Bresenham's line drawing algorithm converts line only using incremental integer calculations. All right. Now, what are the prerequisites for Bresenham's line drawing algorithm? So first thing is the slope of the line should be less than one. So how you calculate slope of a line? So slope is equal to delta y divided by delta x. That is y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0. All right. So now let's look at the algorithm. So first step is input two endpoints and store the left endpoint as x0 comma y0 so this is the first step what is the second step plot the first endpoint x0 comma y0 on the graph then we have got calculate four constants we have to calculate four constants which are the four constants first one is delta x second one is delta y third one is 2 delta y and fourth constant that we have to calculate is 2 delta y minus 2 delta x so once you calculate all these four constants then the step four is calculate initial decision parameter P zero and what is the formula for initial decision parameter? It is two delta y minus delta x. All right. Now at each x k along the line, starting with k equal to zero, perform the following test. We have to perform this test. What is the test? If the decision parameter P k is less than zero, then what we do? Then the next point to plot becomes x k plus one comma y k. That is, you do not increment the y coordinate. Whereas if any other condition, that is, uh, if pk is equal to or greater than 0, then we increment the y coordinate by 1. Okay. And the next, how to calculate if pk is less than 0, how you calculate the next decision parameter? It is pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y. That is, you add 2 delta y. That's why we have calculated these four constants over here. Okay. And what if the any other condition is met? That is, the decision parameter is either greater than or equal to 0. Then what we do? We increment the y coordinate by 1 and x coordinate by 1 also. And then pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. That is why we have calculated this constant over here. All right. Now, when we look at an example, you will understand this concept much better. Okay. So, let's look at it. So, we are given this example. Plot a line using Bresenham's line drawing algorithm for the endpoints 19, 38 and 28, 45. All right. So, let's start with the first step. What is the first step? You calculate the slope. What is the slope? Delta y divided by delta x. Now, what is delta y? It is 45 minus 38 divided by 28 minus 19. So it is 7 divided by 9, which is less than 1. Okay. So since it is less than 1, we can use Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. Now, what is the step 2? We have to plot the left endpoint as the first endpoint. Okay. So it is x0, comma y0. What is x0, comma y0? It is 19, comma 38. So we write it over here, 19, comma 38. All right. Now, what is the next step? We calculate the four constants. First constant was delta x. Now, what is delta x? We already got it over here. Delta x is 9, correct? And what is delta y? Delta y is 7, okay? Next is 2 delta y. It is 2 multiplied by 7 equal to 14. And 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. That is 14 minus 18 is equal to minus 4. Now, once we have calculated all these four constants, then we are going to go for decision parameter. So, let's calculate decision parameter. Initial decision parameter is equal to 2 delta y minus delta x. Now, what is 2 delta y? It is 14 minus delta x. What is delta x? It is 9. So 14 minus 9, we get 5. All right. Now, the next step is we have to check for the condition. If the decision parameter is greater than 0, then we have to calculate the next point. That is, you have to make the next point as x plus 1. That is, what is x coordinate? 19 plus 1 and yk plus 1. What is y coordinate? It is 38. So the next point is 20, 39. That is, you increment the x and y coordinate each by 1. So so the next point to plot is 20 comma 39 over here. Okay. Now once we get 20 comma 39, now we have to calculate the next decision parameter. How we do that? So the formula for next decision parameter is we have got since P0 is greater than 0. Okay. That is the decision parameter is greater than 0. The formula for decision parameter that is next decision parameter is going to be P0 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So we have already calculated the value for 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. It is minus 4 over here. Correct. So it is going to be 5 plus minus 4. Why? 5 is because P0 is 5 as we have already calculated. So 5 plus minus 4 is going to be 1. Okay. So next 
decision parameter is going to be 1. Okay. Now, since again the decision parameter is greater than 0, we have to increment x and y coordinate both by 1. That is xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1. It is going to be 20 is going to become 21 and 39 is going to be 40. Okay. So, next point is 21 comma 40. All right. And now we have got the next point. We have to calculate the next decision parameter that is P2. What is the formula for P2? Since it is greater than 0, the formula is again going to be same. That is P1 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So, it is going to be 1 since it is P1 over here. So, 1 plus minus 4 is equal to be minus 3. Now, over here, minus 3 is less than 0. Correct? Since P2, that is next decision parameter, is less than 0, now we have to increment only the x coordinate and you have to keep the y coordinate same. So, the next point to plot is going to be xk plus 1 comma yk. So, it is going to be 21 is going to become 22 over here and 40 is going to remain over here 40 only. Okay. So, the next point to be plotting is 22 comma 40. And the next decision parameter calculation formula is P2 plus 2 delta y. That is the previous decision parameter plus 2 delta y. Okay, so it is going to be minus 3, that is the previous decision parameter P2, and plus 14, that is 2 delta y. The P3 value is going to be 11, that is next decision parameter is going to be 11. And since again the decision parameter is now greater than 0, we have to increment both x and y coordinates. So the next point to plot is going to become 23, comma 41. Okay, now we have to calculate the next decision parameter P4. So P4 is going to be P P3 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x, that is 11 plus minus 4. So, it is going to become 7. So, again, now P4 is 7, which is greater than 0. So, we have to increment both x and y coordinate. So, next point to plot is going to become 24 comma 42. Okay. And the next decision parameter is going to become P5. Formula is P4 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. That is 7 plus minus 4. It is going to become 3. So, next decision parameter P5 is 3. All right. Now, since the next decision parameter is greater than 0, we have to increment both x and y coordinate. So, next point to plot is going to be 24 plus 1, that is 25, and 42 plus 1, that is 43. All right. Now, we will calculate the next decision parameter P6. It is going to be P5 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So, 3 plus minus 4. Why 3? Because previous decision parameter was 3 over here. Correct? You add minus 4 to that, you are going to get minus 1. Now, the decision parameter is less than 0. So, you only increment the x coordinate over here. So, and you keep the y coordinate same. So, it is going to be about 25 is going to become 26 and 43 is going to remain 43. So, next point to plot is 26 comma 43. All right. And how you calculate the next decision parameter? You add 2 delta y to the previous decision parameter. So, what was previous decision parameter? I'm sorry, it should be P6 over here. Okay. So, P6 plus 2 delta y, that is minus 1 over here plus 14. So, it is going to become 13 over here. So, since the decision parameter P7 is 13 greater than 0, it is going to increment, the next coordinate is going to be incrementation of both x and y coordinates. So, x coordinate is going to become xk plus 1 and y coordinate is going to become yk plus 1. That is 26 is going to become 27 and 43 is going to become 44. And how do you calculate the next point that is to plot or sorry, next decision parameter? It is going to be p8 is equal to p7 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So, what was the previous decision parameter? It was 13 plus minus 4. It is going to become 9. Now, since 9 is greater than 0, we have to increment both x and y coordinates. So, next point to plot is going to become 28 comma 45. That is, you increment both x coordinate and y coordinate. So, this is how we get our line and which points to plot the line with. All right. Now, let's look at the example how it looks. So, as we have got this R table, first step is you plot the initial left point that is 19 comma 38. Then you have got the next point that you have calculated. It is 20 comma 39. Then we have got 21 comma 40, 22 comma 40, then we have got 23 comma 41, 24 comma 42, 25 comma 43, 26 comma 43, 27 comma 44, and 28 comma 45. And this is how we draw a line using Bresenham's line drawing algorithm by plotting all these points. Okay. So I hope you got this concept. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you very much.